This guide shows you how to unzip a zip file. Now normally if you've downloaded something from the internet it, uh, it, it may be downloaded as a zip file uh, for two reasons. One because it makes the, uh, the download smaller and two if you've got several files it's easy to encompass them into uh, into one zip file rather than have to download all the files separately so i'm just going to show you how to uh, unzip the zip file so first of all i'm going to download something from the internet i'm going to download vlc which is a video player i'm going to download it as a zip file um, with this particular program you do have a choice of which type of uh, file you download it as um, but some files won't give you that choice so uh, okay so we're, i'm going to click it said what do you want to do with vlc 224 win 32.zip so i'm going to click save as and i'm going to download it to the downloads folder so i'm going to left click download something and then i'm going to click save in some browsers it won't actually ask you to choose where to save it will just automatically save into the downloads folder so that's downloading it's going to take a little while to download so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video until um, the file is finished downloading because there's no point in sitting here for the next seven minutes watching it download so we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the download okay so it's finished downloading so uh, if i click on open folder um, or if it hasn't given you the opportunity to open the folder, if you click on the little yellow icon at the bottom of the, uh, the screen um, and then click downloads in the left hand corner there, then that should get you to your downloads. So next thing we need to do is move our mouse over the zip file there. You can tell it's a zip file because of the, uh, the zip going down the yellow folder there. So, and then we right click on there and then we left click on extract all okay it'll ask us where do we want to uh, extract the folder to well it's going to suggest the same place the downloads folder um, but if we wanted to extract it elsewhere we can click on browse and say if we wanted to extract it to the desktop we could uh, select desktop there um, so which uh, I'm going to do so if I click desktop and then click select folder and then I click extract and that might take a few minutes um, while it's uh, extracting while that's doing that I'm just going to shut down a few uh, windows so I can see the desktop <coughs> I'll leave this one open because uh, it's still extracting and as you can see already there's a folder here called VLC224 that's uh, appeared on our desktop and there you go that's now finished and uh, inside there is uh, I'll say VLC224 so if I double click on VLC224 just here and there we go there's all the uh, the files in the folder just uh, just appeared there. Now, if I wanted to have, if I, if I, if I had have um, accepted the default location of unzipping it, I'll just show you what would have happened. So I'm just going to repeat that step. So I'm going to right click extract, uh, right click the zip file, then left click extract all, and it's suggesting it's going to extract it to that folder within the downloads folder so I'll just click extract and it's just to show you if you just accept the default then it will uh, unzip it and it will probably put it right next to the zip file in the downloads folder it really doesn't matter where you put it um, as long as you know where you've, you've, you've put it you know and it, it would make sense to put it in a place where you you can easily get to it again later on um, but uh, you can extract it any way you like. So as you can see now, it's actually opened up the folder, but if I close down this here, as you can see next to the zip folder here, or the zip file there, you've got the folder with the same name, VLC224Win32. I'll double click that 
there's a folder in there called VLC 224. I double click that, and there you go. There's all the all the files that are included in the uh, the zip file there. And in in the case of this, I guess if I double click VLC here, it'll warn me. Do I want to run this file? Because I've downloaded it from the internet, so I'm going to going to click run, and uh, hopefully VLC will load. And there we go. Yeah. So that's it. That's how to extract a zip file. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.